In this video, I will show you how to convert TS files to MP4 format. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm here on my desktop and we've got a file that we're going to be converting today, which is this one here. So if I hover over this file, you can see this is a TS file and to convert this is actually really easy to do. Now, in order to do this, we are going to need a software which is actually completely free to download. So what you want to do first is open up a new browser. And then what you want to do is navigate to Google and in the Google search box, you just want to type in VLC. So VLC is a free player, but you can use this to convert files as well. So from here, you want to make sure you click onto the official website, which is this one here, videoland.org, and this is going to take you across to the official website. Next, all you want to do is click the blue download VLC button here, and you'll see that's going to start downloading the VLC player. So because I'm using Google Chrome, you're going to see this is going to start up downloading up here. But if you can't see it for any reason, what you want to do is come down to the search bar down here. Go ahead and give that a click and then type downloads to open up your downloads folder and locate the install wizard. So we can see that's now ready to go. So what I'm going to do is click this and this is going to start running the installation wizard. So we're just going to go through and install the VLC player. So you can just go ahead to click next and install this onto your computer. So it just takes a minute or two to run through and install everything onto your computer. So you can see that's now finished. So what I'm going to do is leave that ticked so that it opens VLC straight away. So you can see this is now open and ready to go. So next what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come back to my desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and hide all these desktop icons just so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. So now we have the VLC media player here. So what you want to do from here is click onto media up here in the top left hand corner. And then what you want to do is click onto open file. Now what we're going to do is locate that TS file. So this was actually on my desktop. So I'm just going to come across to the desktop and you can see the TS file is down here. So I'm just going to double click that to open. So it's normally going to start playing straight away. So what you want to do is just come down to the bottom left and this will be a little pause button. So you can just go ahead and click that to pause the video. So to go ahead and actually convert this to an MP4 format, as I said, it's very easy to do. What you want to do is actually come to the media section again. And then what you want to do is click on to convert save. You can also use the keyboard shortcut by holding control and pressing R. So this is going to bring up a window that looks like this. And what you're going to want to do is basically click the out button from here and then just go ahead and select that TS file. Next, what you're going to want to do is click onto the convert save button down here. And then what you're going to want to do is you'll see underneath settings, we've got where it says convert. And what you can do, you can actually choose the format to convert this to. So what you want to do is click this drop down box. And this is the format I generally tend to use if I'm converting to MP4 which uses MP3 for the audio and H.264 for the video. Next, all you want to do is just click the spanner icon next to the drop down box. Go ahead and give that a click and then click onto audio codec at the top. And what you want to make sure is that this box is ticked where it says keep original audio track. Sometimes it doesn't tick this, so you want to make sure that's ticked and then click the save button like so. Next, all you're going to do is click the browse button next to destination file down here and just choose where you want to save the converted file. So in this case, I'm going to save it back onto the desktop and then you want to name the file down here and make sure afterwards that you put .mp4 so it saves it in the correct format. Once that's done, go ahead and click save and then click the start button to start converting this video. So it's just going to take a second or two to run through and convert that through. And you can see the blue bar is going across currently, which means this is converting and saving that file. So that's how you do it. And I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd really appreciate it. If you want to drop down below the video, leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.